Hello everyone, my name is Murilo and today I will present the latest experiments carried out within the scope of my master's research and their development together with professors Rui Paulette and Leila Minigant. This work involved uh, the development of a series of tabletop experiments simulating different types of flexible formworks, especially surface mounts, with the objective of establish a viable constructive method to be adopted in the execution of concrete shells. The motivation of this work is the, sh the search for the feasibility of concrete shells by reducing the costs of the framework system and exploring the benefits provided by the use of flexible mounts such as the improvement on con concrete surface quality and the reduction on framework materials. The experiments carried out focus on the use of surface mounts which are those in which the nature of the loading depends only on the concrete self-weight without significant uh, concrete fluid pressure. Free-hanging membranes and pneumatically and mechanically prostressed mounds were studied, as will be explained below. The first experiments were based on the work of Matt, Bean, Eisler, among others, where the feasibility of a pneumatically prostressed membrane in the left and a free hanging mount in the right were explored. The materials used for the mount, shell, and reinforcements were different for each case in order to evaluate technical alternatives in the execution process. The pneumatic mount required a patterning technique to be developed as well as, well as the reinforcement layer used, which was achieved an an analytically. Then, with the execution of a new experiment, the use of a mechanically prostressed membrane was explored, which presented the best performance related to the control of the formations developed in the construction process. A textile membrane fixed to a wooden frame was used, thus producing a saddle-shaped mount with an anti-classic geometry. Two different applications were made on this mount, one made through the deposition of mortar, cement mortar and the other using a projection system also studying the adoption of different reinforcements in, in each case. The use of the cement mortar projection proved to be a promising technique for application to surface mounts which is why its limits were explored in a subsequent experiment. For this purpose a prostressed membrane pincibility sculpture with high deformability was used the mortar projection was carried out in two applications in order to minimize mold deformations with the curing of the first layer. Finally, in the last experiment, as part of the work that has been developed in recent months, there is the use of a mechanically prostressed membrane for the cons consolidation of a concrete shell structure. It is a membrane of the Memorial Dispol de Benin Pará, designed by Professor Rui Paulette. A unturned scale model was repaired, which was instrumented to obtain mount deformations before, during, and after concreting the shell. The application of the mortar was made by projection in subsequent layers, using a polyethylene mesh as reinforcement placed in the lower region of the cross section just after the first mortar layer. The application was interrupted for 45 minutes when half of the desired thickness of the shell was, was obtained to the mortar crew process in T8. Through the experiments carried out uh, with the tabletop models presented previously, it was possible to compare different execution processes of shells with the use of flexible formworks. Although each, each type of mold is limited to a set of related geometries, it is possible to associate them in, in order to obtain different geometries especially in the case of pneumatically and mechanically prostressed membranes. It should also be noted that the tensioning of the formwork may require auxiliary equipment, which is more critical in the case of pneumatic mods, involving additional costs for maintenance of the air insufflation equipment. Among the systems studied in the scale, scale using, the, the successful tests were those carried out on the mechanically prostressed mount <clears throat> due to the better control of the deformations of the formwork. The rigidity of the pneumatic mount was also shown to be irregular and controllable 
throughout the execution process. However, the tension of the brain frame is susceptible to leaks that may occur due to imperfections in the seals. As mentioned before, the mortar projection proved to be promising and adequate for these study cases, inducing little vibration in the bounds and dispensing with concrete compaction. Finally, it is worth highlighting the importance of a concrete plan that adequately specifies the properties required for the concrete, as well as defines the number of layers to be carried out and the minimum resistance required to release a subsequent layer. Thus, it is essential to control the evolution of the mechanical properties of the concrete over time. All these factors discussed are being studied for the formulation of computational model for a concrete shell at a relevant scale from which this concrete plan will be obtained, contain the specification of the concrete to be used, as well as the definition of the layers to be executed. Also, it will be used a mechanically prestressed membrane, which proved to be the most suitable mold in the study scale, and with the use of the shot grid casting process, which has been promising for larger scale applications. Uh, finally, I would like to acknowledge the support of Brazilian agency CAPS and the company Artspray. Here I present uh, the main reference of the work. Thank you all for listening. I am at your disposal for further, further questions.